The carbon brush assembly consists of the brush holder, the carbon brush and lead, and the brush tension spring. If your tool's motor is overloaded, it can overheat the brush assembly. This can damage the brush, the tension spring, and the holder. The carbon brush assembly makes it easy to repair your tool in this situation. Replacing the carbon brush assembly is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the rear housing. I'll pull the switch and its wires away from the lower housing. And I'll bend the switch back. Now I have access to the lower brush holder assembly. It's secured with a screw, and there's a wire that leads from the switch to the brush holder. I'll go ahead and remove the screw. And the plastic cap. I'll use my needle nose pliers to remove the wire and I'll pull the brush assembly away from the housing. Now I can install the new brush assembly. I'll line out the housing and press it into place. I'll reinstall the plastic cap and secure it with the screw. Now I'll reattach the wire lead. Now I'll place the motor housing and switch assembly back into the lower half of the handle housing. I'll make sure all the wires are tucked out of the way so nothing gets pinched when we reinstall the other half of the housing. And now I can reinstall the housing. And that's all it takes to install a new carbon brush assembly in your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.